Hello! It's the day after Thanksgiving. I am tired. I didn't feel like doing my makeup. This video is already gonna be at least a day late, even though I said my new upload schedule is gonna be every Tuesday and Saturday, which it still is, but hi! It's the holidays and I'm bad at time management. By the way, um, do you like my new place? You know, that AdSense money came in, coming through, you know? I'm really killing it, you guys. No, um, I'm house sitting again. What do you want? So yes, this video is going to be as stupid as the title sounds, but you guys said that you don't care what I make videos about, just as long as I make videos. So if you don't like it, no, really, this story is hilarious to me, and we were gonna tell it at Thanksgiving, but we forgot, so I guess this is the next best option. Anyway, like um, most people in the world, I feel like, I hate bugs. I've always had this huge fear of bugs ever since I was a child. Like, it's always been very intense. And honestly, I kind of blame my mom for that. Sorry, mom, if you're watching this. But as I was growing up, whenever she would see a bug, she would flip the hell out, lose her shit, and then that would then scare me. So I think over the years, it just got embedded in my soul that whenever you see a bug, you're supposed to freak out and be terrified and just, you know, have an episode. Where I live now, I live with my dad and also my grandparents. My grandmother and I on my dad's side have always been super, super close. Side note, just so I don't have to keep calling her my grandmother, um, for my entire life I've called her Emmy. Her name is Emily and I guess throughout my childhood like my family just raised me to call her Emmy instead of grandma or something. So that's what I'm gonna refer to her as throughout this video. Anyway, something we do a lot together is uh, we go see plays all the time. Um, it's just something we've always liked to do together. I love theater. My dad grew up in theater, acting in plays and stuff, so you get the vibe. A week or so ago, we were going to go see a matinee and I was getting ready in my office when I noticed this huge bug just like flying around. like in an annoying, gross way. Like, flying into shit, making like the grossest little z -z 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 noises as it like bumps into the windows, just ugh, that sound, just like, I can't. At first, like, I was not sure what it was. It looked like a fly, but it was like huge, like the size of like a bumblebee. And that's what I thought it was at first, but then I looked at it closer. It literally just looked like a fly. That was like way bigger than a normal fly, so I was like, great. Either way, it didn't matter what it was. It was a bug and it was large. So my ass was out of there. It was my only option for survival, kids. I had to finish getting ready and I was not about to do that with that hazard in my vicinity. So I relocated to my bedroom, finished getting ready in there, and we left for the play. I figured by the time we got home later that evening, the fly would have either found its way somewhere else in the house, or died, or something. So I was like, whatever, I'm gonna enjoy my afternoon, bug stress free. Obviously, because this video exists, that's not what happened. So we get back from the show a few hours later. I go back up to my office to start working on a video and Emmy goes into the back house to just kind of relax for the night. So I sit down at my desk, my back is to the rest of the room and what do I hear, friends? <laughs> like behind me, my anxiety spikes. I'm upset he has returned or he never left. He's made a house a home today. I spring out of my chair, turn around, and lo and behold, the gargantuan fly creature is back at it again. Now I'm pissed because there's no way I'm going to be able to edit this video without having an anxiety attack the entire time because I'm scared that this motherfucker is gonna fly into the back of my head at any moment. So I do the one thing that I can think of in this time of need and I call Emmy. I call a few times, she doesn't answer. I'm like, great, maybe she fell asleep. 
and I have to suffer the rest of this night in fear with this thing tormenting me. And this was before I had a laptop, so it's not like I could just, you know, work on it in my room. Like, I would have had to stay in there. So I leave the room, and I keep calling her, and she finally answers, and I'm like, you weren't asleep, were you? I didn't wanna, like, wake you up or anything. And she was like, no, I was just in the bath, whatnot, it's fine. And I was like, okay, I hate to be this bitch, but there's a bug in my office, and it's harassing me, you know? So she comes in to the front house from the back house and she comes upstairs and the moment she walks in, the fly is nowhere to be seen. It's not, it's gone. Like this big ass fly that has been tormenting me for the past few hours or whatever, this giant creature that's, that's dramatic, but you get the point, is suddenly, just conveniently, hidden. All of a sudden, once I get some assistance here, I swear to God he knew what he was doing. So, we stand in my office for a little while, waiting for it to return, and it just like, is elusive, like we cannot find it. Emmy's like, I'm gonna go back into the back house. If you see it again, call me and I'll come back in and you know, we'll deal with it. So I'm like, okay, great. I think maybe it's gone now. Like maybe it really did escape this time. So I sit down at my desk and I start editing my video. Everything's fine, you know, I'm getting some work done. I'm living, I'm calm. I don't hear any buzzing sounds. I don't feel anything smacking into the back of my head. Everything is peaceful. Then maybe like an hour later, Emmy comes inside. I hear her downstairs in the kitchen. And the way that our house is laid out, my office is like a loft that's basically like above the kitchen and the living room. So like I can hear everything that's down there and like everyone down there could hear me, you know, that kind of thing. So when she walks in, she asks me, you know, if the fly has returned and I'm like, no, I haven't seen it. I shit you not, like a minute later, it flies up from like the ground, <laughs> like it just appears. And I'm like, oh my God. So Emmy comes upstairs, um, brings a cup and like a magazine. <laughs> and it took us like 20 minutes, well, I shouldn't say us because I was just standing there in fear as she tried to catch it. <laughs> so I should say it took her about 20 minutes to capture it in this glass. Once we finally caught it, we're just like mesmerized at what the fuck this thing is. Because it's so big for a fly. I have like some video. Ew. See, like, it looks so weird from certain angles. Yeah, it doesn't really look like a fly. It reminds me of, there's an episode of SpongeBob that has been a traumatic childhood moment for my entire life where they become friends with a butterfly or something. And there's these random cuts to like an up close shot of a butterfly's face and it's like going <laughs> Like what? what? Why would you put that in a children's cartoon? And still to this day, I'm almost 20 years old. Yeah. I won't watch that episode. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He heard that he, he either really likes that episode or he agrees with you. I'm not sure which one it is. He's still got attitude though. I'm fully aware that there is such thing as horse flies. I've just never seen them in Santa Cruz. So I, it's just not even, didn't even enter my mind. I was just like, what the fuck? Like, is this just a giant fly that ate a whole bunch of, bunch of, what do flies eat? Poop? Maybe this is a fly that just ate a bunch of poop and got really large. I don't know. We literally like trapped this thing under a glass, set it on the kitchen counter downstairs and just stand there inspecting it for like 30 minutes. Look at the wings, look at its legs, look at its eyes. Like I, it was kind of ridiculous. So because we are kind of fucked up in the head, I guess, we decide to leave the fly trapped under a glass overnight and just see what happens. That's very demented, I know. Very sadistic, not very noble, okay? Fully aware of this, but it's what we did. And on my channel, I'm honest. I go upstairs, I finish editing my video. Emmy goes into the back house, goes to bed. The next day we both were doing things and in the morning before she left to do her things, she checked 
to see if the fly, we named it Wendell, by the way. I don't know why we just did. But before she left to do her things in the morning while I was still asleep, she decided to check on Wendell and see if he was dead yet. He wasn't. So she texted me and said, Wendell's still kicking. And I was like, wow, I was expecting to wake up and get a text that said RIP Wendell because that was the deal we had made the night before. Wendell was still standing. At some point in that day, we ended up meeting up and like we went out and did something and then we came home and we were like, oh my God, let's check on Wendell. So Emmy um, walks over and takes the glass and kind of like shakes it to make him move and see if he's alive. But this time, she moved the cup weirdly, I guess. Just lifted it up enough for little Wendell to make an escape. He flies out of the glass. I really wish I was recording this part because it was so funny. He flies out of the glass and into oblivion. Like we have no idea where he went, mainly because I screamed and ran up the stairs. But yeah, so we're, we're like, great, we're right back where we started last night. We're searching the living room, the kitchen for like 10 minutes. Finally, we see little Wendell, or big Wendell, laying on the floor. I guess he was just barely alive enough to like try to do one last hurrah, you know? Uh, and we return him to his original resting place on the table downstairs. And then I woke up the next day to a text message from Emmy that said, burial at sea, with this video attached. Everyone, I would just like to, um, Give a hand to Wendell, R.I.P. Wendell. He put up a fight, he was a trooper, but also an asshole, but we were also assholes. So I guess, you know, we're even. No, we're not because he's dead. Sorry if this was depressing for you. Sorry if you have an emotional attachment to flies and you are offended by the actions that took part by my grandmother and I. <laughs> Honestly though, this story was so stupid, but it's funny to me. It's just one of those funny things. And hey, look, it's probably the first story I've told on here that isn't from 10 years ago. So in case you needed any more proof as to how uneventful my life is, the only story worth telling from the present day was about a fly. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Give the video a thumbs up for Wendell. Leave a comment down below to show him some respect because we sure didn't. Follow all my social medias linked down below. Subscribe if you feel like it because I upload new videos every Tuesday and Saturday. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Love you, bye!